So many of us feel that we don't have the motivation to do what it takes. Only if we had the motivation to do whatever it is that we want, you know, everything would have been all right. But what if I told you that you don't need motivation? What if I told you that there is something more, something that has been overlooked, something that we have completely missed? Now you guys might be thinking that, is this person talking about library being the hub of motivation? Well, actually no, but let me explain. What I'm talking about is the environment and how it affects our behavior. You know, in terms of behavior change, I feel that motivation is overrated and the environment is underrated. People feel that they are not motivated and that is the reason why they cannot get any work done. But the truth is that depending upon motivation for getting work done is basically a recipe for disaster because you cannot be motivated all the while, all the time, 100% of the time. So now the question is, what can we do about it? And the answer is simple, it is changing our environment. So this is my philosophy when it comes to going to the library. By simply changing the environment, it's like I have programmed myself to study. In my mind, it is pretty simple. Library is equal to study, that's it. And because of that, I don't have to rely on motivation. Motivation will strike on its own. Now, unfortunately, the opposite is also true, which means that I have associated home or, or my house with relaxation. I've associated my home with no study. Therefore, trying to get work done while at home is, is a bit challenging. It is like an uphill battle that is that is meant to fail. And more often than not, I, I usually fail. And the same holds true for, for those of us in hostel. In our minds, we have associated hostel with chilling with relaxing, you know, doing anything else but, but studies. And therefore it becomes that much harder to study in that in that environment. I guess the only time we study while at hostel is usually the days before exam while, while everyone is studying. A new environment is created inside hostel and that is what propels each and every one of us to study. So I'm gonna repeat this again. The environment holds a lot more power than, than we can imagine and it is underrated and do not underestimate the power of the environment. Like instead of using it against you, try to use it for you. Change your environment, change your life. Now the next thing that I wanna talk about is habits. You see back in the days when the only thing that was expected of me was to study, uh, life was life was pretty simple. And this is what I did. After, after college, I used to go to the library and after that, I used to go to the gym. The idea here is pretty simple. It is called habit stacking or, or habit coupling. So it is this idea that we will couple a habit that we want to do with a habit that we need to do. So for me, the need was that I should go to the library and I should study. And the want for me was that I wanted to go to the gym. It is something that I enjoyed. So by coupling these two together, I would basically get the best of both worlds. And the idea here is that both of these would kind of feed into each other, would, would sustain each other, and basically you would get the best of both worlds. Now you can do this or, or you can employ this however you want. You have X and then you have Y, right? And after X, I will do Y. X is something that you need to do and Y is something that you want to do. As an example, you could go to the library and you could study like for some time. And after that, you could come home or you can come back to the hostel and maybe watch a movie. Or maybe after that, you can go out with your friends or you can treat yourself by playing a game of PUBG, whatever it is. You get the point, do something that you like. Now, the reason why this works, I think, is because that is that is how we are. We, as a human race, we have evolved a lot. But at the end of the day, you know, beneath all this evolution, I feel that we are still monkeys who likes bananas. We are emotional beings, and because of that, we need to treat ourselves. That is simply how we can get things done. Give yourself a banana, and then you'll, you'll find that everything, everything falls in place, and everything will be all right. Now, thirdly, let us talk about this idea of focused work, right? Every time someone tells me that you have to study 16 hours a day, I, ju I just basically roll my eyes. You know, it's like, oh, come on. I think we have had enough and more people telling us that we should be studying 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day. And it just, it just makes no sense to me. It is absurd and it is sad to hear this thing over and over again. I think that it started with these neat aspirants basically flexing on each other. You know, one guy's like, you know, I studied for 10 hours, but oh, no, I started for 12 hours. <laughs> it has basically become the status game of how much did one study. And because of that, we have completely neglected the, the quality of things. As quantity increases, it is only natural that quality will decrease. And guess what? We only have 24 hours a day. And because of that, quality is important than quantity. So try to get focused work done each and every day. Get into the flow state without any distraction. Get into the deep work mode and get focused work done, right? Get meaningful work done, right? Cut off all distraction and get stuff done. In the long run, I feel that that is the only viable strategy, right? That is the only one that is sustainable. And guess what? You have a life, right? There are other important things that you have to do, that you have to take care of. We are not meant to sit in front of a book for 12 hours a day or in front of a screen for 12 hours a day 
that also doesn't that also doesn't work those are the three reasons why i study at the library firstly we have the environment an environment where motivation strikes just like that and secondly we have habit stacking which means that i will do something that i really love after i go to library and therefore i'm more likely to keep doing this day in day out and thirdly we have the idea of focused work which means that i will go to the library have my study session and after that i can do whatever it is that i wanted so i hope you guys learn something new from this video and hopefully you can employ deploy these these principles in your own life and do let me know your thoughts down in the comments so with that said make sure to like this video for the youtube algorithm subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one peace